Now let's look at how Splunk and Intermapper can help you diagnose problems on your, in, on your network. This is an Intermapper map. And you can see the different devices on the network. You can also see the traffic going across your interfaces. The status window will show you the actual traffic, uh, transmit and receive statistics, as well as uh, interface statistics. So you can see the amount of traffic going across those interfaces. Also, right-clicking on any of the devices will bring up the status window and will show you uh, information about that device, IP address, etc., the status of that device. And if there is an alert, it will show you exactly what's causing that alert. So these are Intermapper maps. Uh, you might have several of them of your network. Let's take a look at how these maps work with the Intermapper app for Splunk. So we'll log on to Splunk. And what you'll notice is oh, we'll bring up our, our Intermapper app. And what comes up is that same map only in the Splunk view. So as you can see, you can still see the devices. Uh, you can see the status of those devices. Looks the same as our Intermapper map. Can't see the traffic on here, but this map will refresh, I think, every 30 seconds or so as well. So let's take a look at those options across the top of the screen. If I want to see what the alert is on one of these devices, I can just click on it. And it's going to bring up this dashboard. Dashboard is going to show me a summary of the different types of alerts on this device. If I want to drill in uh, and kind of filter those, I can click on any one of those uh, alert types. And it will bring up just those alerts. Up at the top is kind of a summary. Down below is the actual event in the log. And it shows me all of the information about that event and what caused it. Over on the right side of the dashboard then is information about that device. The IP address, the MAC address, uh, the switch that it's connected to, and the actual port. So you can see layer 2 information in this dashboard. And then down below is the detail about the logs. You can customize what it is, the timeline that you want to take a look at. Uh, so we have all of those options available. So if you want to see the last 24 hours, you can certainly click on that. And that's going to bring up, uh, again, that same information with the detail down below for that device. So we're looking by IP address or host name. If we want to go back to the map. We can just select from a list of available maps. And we'll bring that map up again. And again, we can see the, the status of those devices based on the color. You can also get to that information through the Notifications option. So if we click on that, it will bring up the same information kind of in a different format. So you can kind of slice and dice this information depending on what makes sense to you. So now we're just looking at the, the alerts uh, summary at the top. Uh, and then again, we're gonna, we have a list of the hosts and the notification level. We can filter this again with that little drop down. So if we just want to see the critical uh, events and critical uh, thresholds, we can click on that. And then we can drill in from here as well. So if you click on one of the devices, it will show you those critical events on that one device. And it's going to show you in that familiar timeline that Splunk always has. If we go back to that notification window, maybe we want to see all of the critical uh, messages. Or let's say we'll take a look at the warnings. So we can click on the warning for the notification level. And now it's going to show me all of the warnings across all of my different devices. Brings up that familiar timeline, puts those events on that timeline. And from here, I can see when those events occurred. If I did have some type of an event on my network that was noticeable, I could click on that on the timeline, and it's going to filter it so I can see exactly what it is that's causing my headache. You can also view from a device list. Uh, so that's exactly what this is. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot of devices that are down on our network. It's one of my testing systems, so always lots of crazy stuff going on. 
Uh, and from here, again, the same information. So I can either uh, go by device name or by IP address, and that will take me into that device, bring up that dashboard again, show me that layer 2 information in the device summary, and then show me the detail of the messages that that device is throwing out. And I can filter from here as well. You can also use the great search capability that uh, Splunk has. And we can also create some charts. So if I take that uh, uh, search window, paste that information if I wanted to create a chart about those uh, uh, warning types, uh, you can edit that search screen. And if I knew how to create a chart, I would. Sorry, I, that's something that i got to play with. Uh, you can also view it by de device type. So if I know the IP address that I want to be able to uh, look at the events for, I can go in uh, by that device list. Configuration is pretty simple. We need to be able to talk to the Intermapper web server. And that's part of the Intermapper product install. And then the other piece is to just have a default map so that we have a place to start when we log into the uh, when we log into Splunk and we start up our app. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, uh, and hope that between Splunk and Intermapper, we can help you troubleshoot your network easily and eliminate all of those headaches. Thanks for joining us today, and have a great day.